Ready. Hi. Okay, what I'd like to talk about is I'd like to talk about the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. It's 2011. Okay, last, last year, 2010, we saw this Mexico, Mexico, which is Paleo-Hebrew for, we'll talk about that word later, um, Louisiana, we saw the Saints win the Super Bowl, and that just happened in history, and when people look back at history, they don't kind of collectively look at that as like, hey, that's kind of funny, like, like, almost like the Bible, like in Daniel. You know, well, if it was in Daniel, you'd see things like the Prince of Persia coming out. Oh, hey, wait a minute, the Prince of Persia came out in 2010, too. And all these, uh, your highness, we got the king's speech, uh, the princess yelling, but I am the princess. They're doing that because in Arabia right now, in those Saudis, you don't know it, but they're actually practicing witchcraft on the, the princess of Israel, and she doesn't even know who she is, which would her, her father would be the king. If you're a human being on earth, there are these families from Israel, and they are from here. They'll be found in the dictionary, sources, and foundations, because this is how God's going to prove he did this stuff. He's going to prove that these are signs and signs. You know, just because we look at these, we're dealing with the ones who oh, they're, they're dealing with. The black swan, you got the golden eagle, and Lyra, the golden compass. You see that? That's what we're called an exact match. So in kindergarten, if you miss those things, you fail. Did you get that? If you miss that those things are all culminated in places that where you grew up thinking, twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are, and it makes these people be able to do movies that are um, kind of bull, anyway, uh, like Kung Fu Panda. Um, Kung Fu, Fu Panda is about a prince, if I'm not mistaken, who throws the guy in the, in the, uh, in the pit. And then, they, you know what, they did come out with Prince of, per prince of Persia too. That's kind of funny. And in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't Prince uh, Portal Prince a problem too before the Mexico? Before the Mexico. So that Portal Prince points us to the letter A. That's the connection of lexicography, phonetics all around the world. We got A Alpha, which is always going to be related to this one. There's a sign unto a witness un, uh, who's coming, a witness uh, unto the Lord. That's a human being. That's why they make that a national treasure. That symbol they use to you know, promote it. The Benjamin Gates, they're looking because Israel's looking for Ben Yosef, the gatekeeper. If you guys don't know that, whether you're Christian or Jewish or Polish or um, you know, Indianish or whatever, then you're wrong. You're completely wrong. If you think this represents the pyramid here and not the, tri the summer triangle in the sky, then you're not, you don't know that that's calibrated for heraldry and that's why you see it. Year after year after year after year after year after year because they're practicing witchcraft on the gatekeepers. And this right now is in South Africa. The man from South Africa, his name, I guarantee, if he's in control of any Israeli science, his names don't match that in what's called lexicography. Anybody know what the dictionary is? That means a bicycle is not a boat. A boat is not a car. Um, uh, uh, a man is not a woman. Um, there are definite classifications that are absolute, and when, when they're in my hands, I make a match as, uh, according to the Unicode. And the Unicode is actually what the Star of David is. Right? And let's see, let's take a quick look at the Star of David, too. Right? We got the Star of David up here above Lyra. And all I have to do to prove to you that the Lyra has come from there is show you from the things from the Seal of History by Totten. There it is. You see that? That looks like that. That's an exact match. That's the match. That's the banner, the shield, the insignia. This is the banner that goes to both of those, showing that their banners, that their names are marked. And their names are marked in heraldry. That's why the herald, heart the herald angels sing. Somebody twisted that for you too. And wouldn't it be funny if we were all singing things and doing things and all, all of us, and none of them matched what's really happening and they've really changed everything for us. That's kind of scary too, because if you don't know, when we got here, they already were dealing with a map. Watch this, Aquila and Lyra. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's in the movie that Ben Gates was in. The sign comes to a witness of the Lord where he finds these treasures. And these treasures, as Solomon said, are in names. A good name is better than great riches. And that's where we'll find God's endorsement, his fingerprint from signs before time in lexicons, law icons. One's male, one's female. We see over here in a map, this map it doesn't belong to us, just came as a piece of scrap, like a piece of cardboard floating around. It's just waste. And you see here, Kingsman, Alpha, Old Town. <laughs> 
And watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Over here on the right, you see Omega right there. You also see the word Alma right here. Alma is the one, the word maiden, maiden, not virgin. So the word born by dictionary definition in my point of view, because I finally sat and I realized I don't care what the suit looks like, how big the building is, how many people are sitting there, if they don't have the ability to remember and retain information like I do, like I can prove right here with billions of bits of information, all invisible, using my uh, my ability to do that as a precision machinist, because I have machinist ability, computerized numerical control. So what I've done is I've taken that into a metric form, Metatron, Metathesis, and there it is. The foundations of these things, these are actually foundationals for all the words that we're all using all around everywhere that define everything. And hidden in those two things, this alphabet, if that's true, they would have like an alpha or an omega plan. They do. They have an omega plan. You know, they have a person who pleasantly represents this, but when you see this, you don't know that this doesn't this one is for here on earth, Aquila, Chrysatos. This one is same here too. You can see to get a good look at that with the arrow there. Aquila, Chrysatos. But it's in a different place. That's called a para. Do you understand para? Para? This one, this is para, because the words that match this, what these things are, are going to be rooted in these. You'll see the famous warrior, that's why national treasure. That's why the golden eagle right now, ladies and gentlemen, the information I'm giving you is proving that they're practicing witchcraft in the United States, seals, seals of the United States, and that right there definitely, absolutely, and positively solves the solution to the, the, the uh, Declaration of Independence. Those things are supposed to be presided over at this time, at this time right here, by Michael, the human prince. You can see that he has this the, uh, seal, the sense, in, in England. They know, they all know, and they have you all thinking that he's coming as a cartoon character. You want Watch this. You, you want to see? Watch. Let's see if they have him coming like a cartoon character. Oh, I think I went offline. Okay, we're coming up on, online, but let's go back to here. This is 2009. Cause so now they have, right now, they have... You know, Obama stood with this and all the leaders, the ten leaders, and it's funny because not only does this match the movie that's out, I haven't seen them anybody make a comment and say, look at that beautiful movie we're making that represents that insignia that we brandished in front of you all like a smoke signal, that actually matches things which are in, followed in the Shumash or the Kumash here. Well, am I right or am I wrong? Well, you look at that insignia and it's got the turtle shell. The universe is like, the music of the universe is like a turtle shell. And Shumash is not connected to Israel, these people, but they were portending, they were porter, they were carrying from the time of Japheth, the symbol which would venerate him now. That's why it's here. That's why the stories in the world will match the stories that are up in the heavens and they'll match the story in the Bible. And it will match a human name. Now, imagine being that person knowing they're looking for a person and knowing that all these other people came but you can't see them and every time you see their face you see a different face and I'm being told that that's all an absolute I'm not doing that anymore I'm not letting anybody tell me that I don't watch TV I don't need to know what it's going to be like out there in the weather this is what's happening this is the conspiracy construct constitution conspiracy construct constellations con my goodness, <laughs> yeah, continent. So that's what's really happening. Now, if I'm right, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm saying this balance thing is here, and I show it over here, well, let's go to Sequoia National Park in Kings Canyon, right there. I just matched it up for you accidentally, but I didn't even draw attention to it. If you were wise enough to go, oh, Kings right away, and no, when you look at this, there's no such thing as a jack. You've never seen a jack in any family. You never will. Jack is not the joker, but the definition is the name of Trump's. Trump's brings us back over to here and this stuff. So if they're practicing witchcraft, we're going to find these things. Wait a minute. Signs. See that? 1971 song list. Signs. Beginnings. Starry, starry night. That's everything I've just showed you. Watch this one, ladies and gentlemen. Aquila and the arrow, did I not show you? Me and my arrow. And I showed you that in an Indian reservation, the Indian reservation, 1971. The beginning of the end. And the beginning and the end is Alpha and Omega. You know, that's almost like it's your song. 
if you look in the in the scriptures, you have two sticks. This person who gets this this thing, he's a prophet, but yet you don't know who this prophet is because it's not Ezekiel. Because that was not for Ezekiel's time. This prophecy is for now. And this is the relationship between the Ephraim and Joseph, and the Judah and Israel. That's what's going on here with the White Castle and the White House, and the the uh, Camp David. And that's why in National Treasure, my cameraman. Did they not use a white castle in that show? A white castle. Watch this. Look at these, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, if we, if we look at things that are, you know, really are the symbols that are on the United States, and we even see a castle here, but you see, these are all different. And it's funny, do these match one another? Well, they kind of do. They got a sword, they got wings, they're in a, a banner or a, an insignia. An insignia, that's very important. And look at how many of these insignias go to this cartoon character. So watch this, ladies and gentlemen. That's a cartoon character, you see? Because you can't put a face to it, you can't put a classification to it, and not one person that I see in the Christian church or Rome is classif classifying this correctly and they make cars and they make spaceships and they make computers which tells me that they know the onomastics and the genealogy so I'm telling you as Americans that the door the blessing that the, the nature tells us who's ruling and that's why the Indians or the Native Americans knew that the eagle was coming that's why they knew it was coming here in Mexico that's why they know all around the world that this is coming and that's why these people are doing these and they walk in the very symbols and the emblems of the person who has that in entitlement that's what they're doing and then they come out and they mock it and you have no idea when you see these movies Kung Fu Panda, Michael, uh, Legion, uh, Legends were you know, uh, what's his name's got a battle of the devil at the end of the age the girl, the princess, who's the princess? you type in last princess you come up with this word Lyra Okay, I'm almost about done because I pretty much made my case. These are family entitlement names based on the children of Israel. And the names are going to go to the famous warrior, the poor keeper, who is like God. Those are classifications in the dictionary based on phonetics and etymology, onomastics and genealogy, Bible, encyclopedia, dictionary. Boom. No one can change them. Thank God. Praise God. And I'm um, excuse my passion because I'm tired of the confusion out there. I'm going to straighten this out. Tired of watching people. This is originally Lyra, 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 Metathesis. See that, ladies and gentlemen? These things have no names, they have really no purpose. You just keep saying, well, we just keep thinking that there ain't angels unclassified. And you can't classify angels with any the way anybody's taught you unless you look them up in the dictionary yourself and you look in the Bible yourself and you see that when it says a man who's an angel, it means a man who's an angel as in Revelation. And if you don't know that part and you don't know that signs and symbols are the basis for all words, then you'll never figure out what signs and symbols mean who's actual, the actual ruler on this earth. And that means that anybody can put out any story 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago to block the human beings who come from these families. And if I just told you that story, and I just completed that circle, that would mean I'd have to be from one of those families. And I'm not pointing at all the chemtrails and all that stuff. I'm pointing for the temple because I found the name that matches these two. And I can prove it a thousand times. It'll be full circle. It's based over here. Genesis 114, Psalms 19, uh, 19, 19, 19 through 24. Uh, how about this one, Daniel 221. Um, these things are unseen. This is ridiculous. How can I do that? Uh, Proverbs 25, 2. Uh, you know, it's a, better, a good name is better than great riches. I compile them on top now because you need the 38 different occurrences to restore the temple with the gatekeepers. The gatekeeper family. This is the gatekeeper. Thank you very much. Good job, camera person. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm showing a miracle, and forgive me for my excitement, because these are things that I got, the Lord God Almighty has set me out to do. I was born in San Gabriel Archangel Mission, which is just offside the King's Highway in California. And we always think that those things represented people in the past. But their connection with lexicography and things that are happening now, which is why they do the movies, to fool you and everything else on the documents and the training. They already know deep in the institutions, the universities, that the Unicode is 
based in these things right here. That's why you see black swan, golden compass lira, golden eagle, the eagle right now. And that's enough. I proved my case before anybody, even if you want to make fun of me, ladies and gentlemen, before. Well, let's do this. Even if you want to make fun of me, my family, or what have you, but all of that stuff. You know, it's funny in Funk and Wagnall, they show an angel in the. But we've never seen this, and forget all the UFOs, but that person's connected with the 4th of July, and his name is also the same as the Prince written in the Bible. And that's not the Lord Jesus. That, so what we have to separate is God Almighty, who's going to dwell in the temple, from the scions, the forerunners, who get the, the actual covenant. Somebody's completely twisted, not on purpose. It's because they don't have the key to put this all in the end time perspective. This is the expounding. It can't come from a bunch of people. It can only come from one person who knows who the king is and can prove why the jack is the name of Trump's. Why G Protocol? Why Symphon Zion? Why the Meister Singer? Why Omega? Why the voice? So somewhere out there, there are some voice tracks that God has already recorded. Right here. And they know that because they're showing us in their witchcraft. And the fact that these are being allowed, not only being allowed, but being applied to the government of the United States of America, if I can show that these two names match, that means at this time that any institution that carries these names that match in lexicography, whatever they might be, I'm not telling you, but I can show you how to do it, any American, seventh grade level, that those would be the owners of the United States of America and the owners in the deed of Israel for them to rebuild their temple. The temple is now presently restored. Because I'm showing you that these names already match and in order for that to happen, I would have to have something that no human being on the face of the earth has, regardless of how important you are speaking of. Everybody's important, everybody has a good job, but we're looking for a prince and a king. Have a good day. Shalom.